Tens of thousands of anime fans will be hitting Javits Center this weekend to celebrate Anime NYC. The convention celebrates all things Japanese pop culture. Ryan Christopher is learning. He's reacting. He's trying to get in the middle of all of this this morning. What's going on, Ryan? Hey, Ro, happy Friday to you. We're having too much fun here this morning. There's going to be over 60,000 anime fans, fans descending from all over the world right here to the west side here at Javits Center. And all morning long, we've seen some cosplay, some people dressing up for the big masquerade party tomorrow. But we're about to introduce you to some voice actors and some stars in the world of anime. So let's check them out. These are the Lava Boys. I, well, they're not the Lava Boys, just Lava, but I like to call them the Lava Boys. They're all men. They're grown men. We got Robbie Day. Max Middleman and Ray Chase, and of course Max is always the middleman here in this group. <laughs> I just can't avoid it my whole life. Yeah, right. So, so talk to me a little bit about what you guys do. Your voice actors in some of these anime shows, and if the three of you were to walk outside right now, I think the fans would just lose it. Absolutely. You guys are superstars. We have to be whisked in by shuttle. That's right. Got to wear these glasses to disguise yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah right. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly, this is like the only place where we can't really go around with and be completely anonymous. Right. Everywhere else. We we go, nobody knows who we are, but yeah. here it's uh, it's pretty cool. Well, everybody knows. We call it nerd famous. It's the best <laughs> of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love it, though. And talk to me a little bit about your characters and what really goes into the art of doing voiceover for anime. Oh, sure. A lot of us uh, uh, watch anime ourselves, grew up watching anime. And so, uh, uh, for example, we're in the show Jujutsu Kaisen. comes out every single week on Crunchyroll. We watch the Japanese uh, subtitles, and then we're able to practice at home and really hone our characters and know what's coming. Reading the manga also really helps too. Okay, and how about for you, Matt? For getting in my character? Yeah. Uh, and and I, I who is your character? I don't, well, I'm, I play One Punch Man, Saitama in uh, One Punch Man, and uh, uh, Ryuji in Persona 5, Ito in Genshin Impact. There's a ton of stuff. Uh, I don't do anything special to get into character. No. I, in fact, just I, yourself. Try, I try and scream and just ruin my voice. Oh, yeah. Hey, that, yeah. That's one way to do it. All right, good uh, vocal notes there from Max. And and talk to us a little bit about the show that you're involved with. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the thing about it is, is we're in tons of stuff together. I mean, we're in you know, 30, 40 projects together a year. We do a lot of work as a voice actor, but uh, it's amazing. It's not just anime, it's cartoons, it's video games, and uh, that's the great part about cons like this. It's called Anime NYC, but it crosses the border for all things nerdy, and we're just so stoked to be here. We're here every year. We've been coming since the first one, and it's crazy how this has blown up. That's right, the OGs. And talk to me a little bit about One Piece. It's a wildly popular show. I know there's now a spinoff, a live action on Netflix, and Luffy D is going to be in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So it's cool to see over the years how anime is becoming more mainstream. It's been super, super mainstream. I think the younger generation grows up with it, not even think yes of anything nerdy or weird or anything. It's just what's on TV and what people are watching and talking about. We didn't think it was weird. We would we would watch Toonami and Dragon Ball Z and whatever was on TV. And Pokemon? It, yeah, 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 of course. But you kind of had, maybe back in the day, you kind of had to hide it from your friends, but now you can't walk into a single store anywhere without seeing anime merch everywhere you look. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's really in the mainstream. And Luffy is in in the parade today. Uh, I'm in One Piece. I play uh, Kozuki Odin. I think Ray's in the show. Play Corazon from One Piece. So, so cool. Now we're going to toss it back in studio to Rosanna Scotto. So if you don't mind, can can we give her a little taste of what you guys do on stage during your stage show? This is lava, right? Is there in a stage <laughs> show? Or, stage uh, show? or something. Uh, give us a little uh, voice uh, acting. Uh, we do for like an improv and sketch comedy sort of thing. Uh, 8.30 like, on Saturday. 8.30 yeah. on Saturday. It's like SNL meets Whose Line Is It Anyway? meets your favorite anime. But unfortunately, we have a very strict no filming policy. So uh, yeah, if you want to see right. the show live, it's tomorrow night at 8.30 on the main stage. There's only a couple thousand people there. Maybe you can be one of them. All Come right. hang out. Rosanna, we'll be sure to get you tickets because I know you're going to the Lava Show this weekend, bro. Absolutely. All right, back on over to you in the studio. Anime right. NYC is here. All right. Thank you so much, Ryan. <laughs>